might just miss the beauty of the fish. Well, hopefully there's another around. It was a nice looking fish. So today I am fly fishing around some rocks and looking for a better fluke. Um, I uh, worked my way up and actually was interesting. I saw a few fluke and I uh, was working a darker color, you can see here. So, but I went over to a yellow and I missed one or two. On the They went right after it. So right now I'm sticking with a yellow white. Seemed to make the difference. I kind of were re reluctant to hit the darker color today, but they were certainly following it. But uh, looking for a better flu. That's a good fish. Whoa, that is definitely a keeper. Definitely. to 19. Right now I'm using float in line and it's uh, very pleasant in these conditions. I got a long leader on so the fly is certainly getting down to where it need be. There might be nine, ten foot holes but that fly is sinking quick, quick enough. And I like the float line right now just because I have it on. Your intermediate lines probably just as well. But uh, this was on the reel, so that's just uh, what I've been working with today. And uh, I got the floating line. I get that fly down, and I really like it. it. Gives works in rhythm with the water well, so you're not cutting against any weird currents. And it presents that fly naturally most of the time. And I just lift my rod when there's a big wave. You can see that clouser. It's, it's taking that line down. I just missed one. If he uh, didn't taste the hook, he might still come back. If he tasted that hook, he is gone. Or maybe. Took right close in. Oh. Okay. He's a better fish. I was going to hit the other side, but maybe by the end of the night we'll hit him. Really nice keeper. These are definitely better than the ones in the bay. Wow, he's big. 
looking at the other one. I thought he was smaller. Sometimes I'm working it along the rocks and I'm just working the whole area. Um, they, they can really be anywhere. They love rocks, they love sand. When you get rocks and sands together, that's when you get some when the fish are there. That's when you get some good fishing. So. But they all, they really like rocks and they kind of use that sand as their thoroughfare. So. And they'll sit in those deep holes, pockets, out in the open as well. They'll be all over the place, down, right down the jetty, and in, in and out. And you always, it's always worth looking at the other side. I'm just going to flip a few casts in here. I'm sure that there's fish. I have a hunch they're going to be smaller. I was saying that a hunch they were smaller. I'm sure that there's a big one in there too. hit the top of the tide and uh, those flukes slow down but are not bad fishing I think I missed two picked up two have the one on the side and I've uh, seen one or two others about um, maybe we get another shot before it gets dark we seem to kind of scare sound Just take that tension off your line and it drops. I like a little curve, a little bend. Give it some action. And okay, so there's still fish about. Oh! Sundial. That was a, that's a little sundial. It's getting dark now, so I think I'm going to call it. I'm definitely going to take a few more casts, but uh, not a bad day, day at all. A um, few, few fluke and uh, nice size. Not giant fluke, but good fluke. Uh, lost a few, caught a few. Uh, working around the rocks here and uh, just throwing the clouser. But uh, I'm going to fish a little more, but I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, please uh, like, dislike, uh, comment, uh, whatever you have to say. Uh, subscribe to the channel or not. And uh, remember always, uh, fish your way. Thanks again for watching. Have a great afternoon, evening, night, uh, day, wherever you are.
get out with it. This looks good. This looks good.